ain't got, you ain't got, you, you, you ain't go. Say less. Yeah. <laughs> Say less. Hey, girl, what it do, do? If you got friends, cool, bring a few through. No fun if the homies man, R.I.P. Nate, doc, this too true. And you know what I'm down for. Round two, round three, and a round four. Move switch when she knocked at the front door. Next up was the uproar. Yeah. Was like a week ago, but we both know how weekends go. Trying to talk, I've got some places we could go. Swear she got the d like, wow. She's blessed, I'm blessed. I don't G.A. Yeah. You trying to... Yes, on, yes, on, yes, on, yes. Everybody, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two teams here looking to find a way to win. It's the Titans coming in at 11 and 2, going up against the Bengals, who come in at 8 and 5. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tennessee Titans. here on first down wide open receiver complete 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down they've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production but I would dare say that this week in practice there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency and that was a good start getting the playmakers involved you mentioned that to me pre-game that's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, I mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Here's Ryan to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. On second down, here's Ryan. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. And again, this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. In the red zone this time. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Third and two. Now Ryan. The quick slant caught. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. First and goal here from the two. And he'll give it here to his running back. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. On second down, Ryan. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Eifert, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bengals are going to take a first quarter lead. This is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've you been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere. But you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. You know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. They go play action here on first down. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41, and he'll bring this one back to the 29. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot, and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football. Gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Third down, Ryan. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Trey Waynes. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Well, this wind is definitely going to be a factor as this game goes along. He's throwing straight into it here in the first quarter, and the ball fluttered on him a little bit. He'll definitely have to file that one away and make a mental note of it. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. A play fake as they set up to throw. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. 
A really good pickup of 28 yards. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? The guys picked up all of their assignments. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with the football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. From the gun, it's Ryan. He's going to air one out. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Trying to lay one up deep. He's got it at the 15. And all the way in. For a Cincinnati score. A big play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. And it's good to make it 14 0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his four. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks near the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it. And that's caught inside the 35. It's a big play on third down for the Titans. 43 yards. They'll look to throw now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Here we go. One, two. Now back to throw. And Davis with it left side. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Ryan suck up on for the point after. Brandon, they just got the ball, and already they're in the end zone, and you're getting ready to talk about the PAT. That was fast. And his kick is good. Now here's suck about to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 
So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first down, Ryan. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. That throw good for four. It's second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. They go play action now. Ryan. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Kevin Dodd in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now on the year. Now the Bengals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, Ryan. And the third down pass falls incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And now running right through him. the excitement level up a few notches, doesn't it? What a big-time punt return for a touchdown. Now their cohorts on the special team side. They've got to add the PAT. That would be the equalizer. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well. else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now Ryan on first down. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And he'll give it here to his running back. him over and he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the five yard line 34 yards there at a first down i think they like this drive a little bit better there partner running game helping out picking up some of the slack because remember the last drive they went three and out two big plays in succession not sure this d knows what hit him but now they got to get ready it's first and goal and able to push his way forward here for a good little game It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. Ryan keeps it on the sneak, and he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Matt Ryan on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns, and the Bengals have taken the lead. And his kick is right through. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? 
This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box go. watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. So two minutes to go in a wild first half. Back to Tennessee after this. Again on second and ten, it's Ryan. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? He's going to air one out. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told them, if you don't take care of this football, you'll have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. But they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep a defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And they insert their dime package, six DBs here on third and six. Expecting pass all the way. It'll look to throw. Uncorks one for Davis. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe you want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the Bengals will have a first and ten from deep in their own territory. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a bangle first down. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Oh, the strength of Eifert. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. 
but he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very well. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Morris Claiborne. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Here we go. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. Why does Larry always do that? He just stops talking. But let's go play the third quarter. I'm psyched. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And the Titans getting set to go. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Yannick Ngakwe in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. Let's go. They'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Now a handoff looking right, and he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. And a quick throw here. That's complete. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. On first and ten, it's Ryan. He's going to fire one deep over. He's got a man complete. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet.
The wide receiver moving to a new spot. From the gun, Ryan. And incomplete, a drop. That'll bring up second down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. To throw on second down, Ryan. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24.